Did you know that your 3D printer has a magic number? And if you use that magic number, you can get better print quality? I'll explain it all on today's Filament Friday. This episode of Filament Friday is brought to you by these Patreon supporters. I know many people got new printers for Christmas or they're just getting started with 3D printing and they want to do a lot of modifications. It's, it's the fun part, I get it. But before you do any of that, just learn how to use your 3D printer and how it works with your slicer. And with that, you want to know your magic number and use it in your slicer settings. So what is the magic number? Well, to understand it completely, we first have to understand how a stepper motor works. So let me explain that and then I'll get deeper into how you calculate the magic number. This is a diagram of a very basic stepper motor. It's got four coils or four poles. And when the center is grounded and one of the coils is energized, it's going to line the magnet up inside with the coil. And that's going to be one step. So if we then stop power here and put power here, it's going to line up there. So that's the next step. So if I do this where I energize each coil separately, I can get four steps out of this guy per revolution. That's how a basic stepper motor works. And on our printers, we typically have a 1.8 degree movement. So these coils, there's multiple coils to give us every 1.8 degrees of alignment. So at 1.8 degrees, that gives us 200 steps per revolution. And that's the number we're going to use to calculate the magic number because we want to line up with these natural steps. Now where the stepper drivers come in is they vary the voltage here and here between two coils and by the difference of those two voltages you can get multiple steps. And that's how you micro step a stepper motor. But we're not going to worry about this for the magic number. We want to use these natural steps or the 200 steps per revolution. So now that we generally understand that there's 200 natural steps in a stepper motor, how does that relate to the magic number? Well, it all comes down to this threaded rod. The threaded rod will lift the X carriage based on its pitch. So on the Creality machines or even this GTEC machine, it lifts eight millimeters per one revolution. So now that we know we want to stick to the natural steps or 200 steps per rotation, divide that 200 into the eight millimeters, we get 0 0.04 millimeters per natural step. That's the magic number. And we want to stay on that magic number because then we're at the same position relative to each step. Even if we're micro stepping, we are going to the same micro step every time. So we're consistent in how we're moving up. And that gives you consistent results and much better print quality, especially on smaller prints where you're printing really fine detail. So now that we know our magic number is 0 0.04, we can do variations off of that for the Z height. So 0 0.08, 0 0.12, 0 0.16, 0 0.2, 0 0.24, 0 0.28, and 0 0.32. You typically don't want to go more than 80% of your nozzle. So at a 0.4 nozzle, 0 0.32, is like the roughest you want to go on. That's pretty rough. So now let's compare our magic numbers or our magic layer heights to what Cura offers in its stock settings. From the drop down menu, they show 0 0.06, 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and a couple of coarse settings I don't recommend. 0 0.2 is the only one that fits within our magic number. The 0 0.1 or fine setting should really be 0 0.12 to match our magic number. Normal 0 0.16, extra fine 0 0.08, and the extra fast 0 0.3 should be like 0 0.28. And so I made my own profile using a 0 0.12, that way I'm within my magic numbers. And that's what I use for most of my prints. But let's compare this. I'm gonna slice this Marvin keychain at a 0 0.1, the stock setting, and it says 42 minutes to print with a 20% fill. Now I'm just going to change the layer height to 0.12 because now I'm in my magic number and it says 35 minutes to print. I saved 7 minutes on this print, but what about quality? Are they the same? And here they are next to each other. And frankly, I can't tell them apart. I do have some retraction settings to improve, but I can't tell them apart. I had to mark them on the bottom. They look identical to me, yet the 0.12 printed 7 minutes faster than the 0.1. 
So then I tried my calibration cube. And again, I couldn't tell a difference between the two. They looked identical until I put them under a microscope. Look at the 0.1 layer height. You can see larger layers and then smaller layers scattered throughout the print, and it's slightly off. My eye couldn't pick this up, but it's obviously there because when I compare it to the 0.12 with the magic number, look at how smooth and even the layers are. So this clearly gives you a better print. So the magic numbers do work. So the magic numbers seem to work, although it's minor, but you save time while getting the same print quality. And under the microscope, it definitely showed a difference. And that magic number, 0.04, works for all the Creality machines that I have, CR10, CR10 Mini, Ender 3, all the same. And the GTEC A10, A20, they all have the same 0.04. So just try that out. Tell me what you think. See if you see a difference in your prints. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the videos that are popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon's one way. Or just use the affiliate links in the description below to buy filament, parts, whatever. It helps a lot. And if nothing else, just click on that Chep logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.